Hello and welcome to the Viking Mechanical Oil Kings Report. I'm Jordan Greenlee. The Kings are fresh off of their BC road trip and still remain at the top of the WHL's Eastern Conference standings. Now this has been a great year for the entire team, but it's been especially important for three players in particular. The 20-year-old season is the final year in the WHL for any player lucky enough to be one of the three kept on the roster and to make a big impact. That's just what Tyler Maxwell has done for the Oil Kings since he came over earlier this season from Everett. Well, obviously, uh, you know, Maxwell's a pretty uh, pretty elite uh, scorer in this league, and that was a great pickup for us in November, and he's uh, fit right into our hockey club, and obviously he's helped us to get where we are to the point we are right now. Um, you know, he's got great skill. He shoots the puck hard. He uh, plays a lot for us. He, he power play and plays a lot of uh, double shifting for us, but uh, he's a great kid. He's been a great addition for our hockey club, and obviously he's got a bright future ahead of him, and obviously he wants to go on to the next level. The Oil Kings just returned from a lengthy BC road trip as they played six games in nine days and came home with a 3-3 three and three split. But more importantly, they got a chance to develop their chemistry. I think that it was a, a good you know, team building trip. I mean, we were together for 11 days and six games, so um, when you're with a group of guys for that long, you get to know each other even better. So I think that uh, in that aspect, we, we got to know each other and then uh, we played well. Um, you know, some games we would like to have back, but that's how road trips go. Jordan Peddle was acquired from Swift Current right at the start of the year, and while not a guy who's on the score sheet every night, he's doing exactly what the team needs him to do. Well, Peds is exactly what we knew we were getting, a heart and soul type player that penalty kills for us, and obviously he uh, he puts his heart on the line and every night in the game, and he wears it on his sleeve, but uh, he's a pretty solid player, you know, and he's uh, great in our dressing room. I know our guys really like having him, and he's an important piece of the puzzle. You know, you got to have a certain types of players if you want to go far in the playoffs, and he's one of those guys that's going to bring that element for you. Well, I've been playing with uh, Richinski and Wilson lots, and we've been playing a third line role, and it's been it's been a good line so far. We've been playing against lots of other teams' top lines and shutting them down. And I mean, I mean, it's not the most family and uh, whatever. It's not, but it's like it's a good role. It's everybody needs that player on their team, and that's what I've been trying to do. Rhett Richinski is the third 20-year-old for the Oil Kings, and also has been here his entire career. Well, Rhett's played most of his career here, and obviously he's, uh, he's an important part to our team right now. He penalty kills a lot, takes face-offs on our power play and plays in front of the net, and he's, got, he's been rewarded with some quality ice time, and he's provided some big goals for us, and obviously he's having a career year for us, and I know he's enjoyed playing, and when you're, you're having some success offensively, it makes it a lot more exciting and being part of this team, and, you know, they've had some tough years here, and last year wasn't a bad year. Now we've taken another step, and he's a part of that, so I'm sure he enjoys it. For Ruchinski, who's been a part of some difficult seasons on this team, this is a very enjoyable run in his final year. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a lot more fun when you're winning hockey games. So, uh, you know, it's it's been a, it's been a great year for me personally and and for the team. So, uh, you know, it's it's fortunate for me in, in my 20-year-old year to have the season kind of season that we're having here. Growing up, what was your favorite NHL team to watch? Uh, Detroit Red Wings, just because they've been so good and they won so many Stanley Cups. All right, uh, favorite NHL player and why? I'd have to say Carey Price, because I kind of uh, model myself after him. Just how he's so calm and how he could play the puck. All right, um, toughest uh, road city to play in on the in the dub and why? I'd probably have to say Prince Albert, because they get it's a small barn, but they get quite a few fans, and all the fans are always into it. Okay, uh, your favorite WHL city to visit and why? I'd have to say Vancouver, seeing how I'm from Vancouver, and I've always grown up watching the Giants, so I thought that was pretty fun to watch. Fair enough. Uh, Pre-game meal, what is it for you? Uh, chicken parm and penne. Okay, uh, post-game meal? Uh, well, we, we always get pizza on the bus, and that's pretty cool. Okay, favorite kind of pizza? Uh, pepperoni. And now look at some upcoming home games for the Oil Kings. On Saturday night, Swift Current is in town for a 7 o'clock face-off. And then on Sunday, they turn around and play the Saskatoon Blades at 6 p.m. All the action, of course, here at Rexall Place. That'll do it for the Viking Mechanical Oil Kings Report. I'm Jordan Greenlee. Viking Mechanical's Oil Kings Report on Shaw is brought to you by Viking Mechanical. Plumbing, heating, gas fittings. For information, call 780-PLUMBER. That's 780-758-6237.